Today I want to show you how you can decrypt TLS traffic with Wireshark. So open a terminal here as administrator and the first thing we need to do is set this environment variable called SSL key log file. That will instruct any process that supports it to store the TLS session keys into this file and we do this for the entire machine. So after we run that command, you now could actually already go ahead into Wireshark and start uh, capturing traffic. But before I do that, I want to show you a different uh, methodology, a tactic on Windows, how you can actually capture network traffic. There's a tool called NetSH, and you can use a trace and start. That will actually start a network capture on Windows. So we say capture yes, the, the file we want to store the data in. That is useful, for instance, if you're in a production environment where you don't have Wireshark present, you can just use this command and uh, capture some traffic. Okay, so the network capture is running, so let's start an instance of Chrome. And let's just navigate to, let's say we go to Bing. So look the Bing website and then we stopped the capture, net sh trace stop, and now you can see here the keys were written to the file and we also have the ETL file, the ETW trace. Wireshark cannot directly open this file, so we need to convert it to a PCAP file. I use this tool called ETL2 PCAP, which you can find on Microsoft's GitHub. So if you just search for, uh, let me show you, if you just go to GitHub and go to Microsoft Repository, Microsoft Org, and search for ETL to PCAP and G. So you can find it here. And so here, Microsoft ETL to PCAP and latest, you can download the executable from right from here. Now that we have that downloaded, you just put in the two files, like the trace file, and we say you want to call it PCAP, and it converts the file, that works well, and you open Wireshark. So this is now you can go to a different computer if you were in a production system. You can now go to, go to a different computer and open that file. The traffic here is all encrypted, right? So we cannot actually see the TLS traffic. The trick now is you go into Edit Preferences, select Protocols here, expand that and search for TLS. Or scroll down to find TLS. And here you now place the keys file and that will do the magic and start decrypting the traffic. So you can now see we have HTTP HTTP2 requests come in and you know get the headers and you can see traffic. Okay. Finally, if you actually want to unset the environment variable, you just set it back to empty. So everything's good. Okay, I hope that was useful. Have a good day.